Lord Zilla, c'est le cofondateur des Don Shadows avec Lord Xenatos. Hein. Et euh, voilà, c'est un personnage assez... Euh, assez ténébreux, assez sombre, c'est pas quelqu'un qui aime se livrer facilement. On a eu, encore une fois, comme de nombreux personnages du film, beaucoup de mal à, à la voir, hein, malgré sa proximité avec Lucas, leur amitié. Euh, D'ailleurs, Zilla est venu, c'est un des seuls vampires à être venu ici où on se trouve, à la demeure du chaos. Il a fait le voyage, le déplacement. Et euh, voilà, et on a filmé ça de nuit, en décembre, il faisait vraiment froid, dans un parc de Spanish Charlem. Hein, il y avait vraiment une ambiance, une ambiance spéciale, hein, sans lumière additionnelle. Hein, donc on a réussi à rattraper tout ça un peu à l'étalonnage. C'était ouais, un drôle de moment avec des tensions dans le tournage. Hein. Euh, voilà, c'est une interview très spéciale. On le sent d'ailleurs à un moment, il, il pose une question sur le sang et, euh, et il nous rebalance le truc en nous disant euh, voilà, enfin, le sang, c'est ça pour moi. Maintenant, est-ce que euh, la question, est-ce que c'est si moi je consomme du sang ou pas, c'est à toi de le découvrir. Hein. Et ça résume assez bien cette petite phrase, euh, résume assez bien la distance de Zilla vis-à-vis -vis de l'extérieur. Hein. We're, we're in Harlem. We're in an area considered Spanish Harlem which is the east side uh, above 96th Street. Um, I don't know, some, some people might think it's a bad area, but I don't. I've been here almost all my life, so it's, I don't know, there's not much to say. I'm Puerto Rican, I was born in Puerto Rico. I came here when I was five years old and I've been here ever since. Well, I've, I've, I've been pretty much always interested in, in, in the paranormal, you know, events and, and kind of practice and always into more the dark side of life. Ever since I was young, I was always kind of known as the odd kid. Um, I've always been intrigued with the, with the vampire, you know, you know, watching movies and stuff like that, vampire ways, the way that, you know, of living. Um, I've always been intrigued by that. So, One time searching for it, I found it and just took, took life off for it. Well, everyone, everyone has power in their own ways. Whether they use it or practice it or know about it is two different things. But everyone is it's, it's born with their own gift, you know? It's all up to the individual to take part in it, you know? Be free. Be free to make their own decisions, basically. There's really no process on becoming a vampire. You, you're a vampire at heart or you're not. You know, it's something that you know about yourself. You know, like, I don't know, like when you first realize that you like women, it's just something you know you are, you know? To me, blood is the essence of life. Without it, neither I or you can live. Whether we choose to consume it, that's on, on, onto the individual. Everyone has their choice. You know, I can't say that everyone that calls themselves a vampire consumes blood because that's just not the way it is. Everyone has their own ways. Um, whether I choose to or don't, that's more intimate. That's something that, you know, if you want to know, you got to find out. Initiation, yeah. it's pretty much loyalty. Loyalty, respect, um, not only to us, but to yourself. You know, um, the ability to make your own decisions, solve your own problems. You know, it's just someone that can actually be a axis, a strong axis, a strong pillar to this family. It's just people who are the same, that, that, that you know, that think the same way, have the same kind of beliefs. Um, Like-minded individuals, just, you know, they, they, we cater to each other because we, you know, we consider ourselves different. So everybody, you know, falls into their own group. We're mixed. It's, I mean, we have black, we have uh, Asian, we have white, we have Puerto Rican, Ecuadorian, Mexican. It's just a mix. Um, Hidden Shadows, it's a mix, it's very mixed, mixed, mixed cultural. We, we organize vampire events, more like um, kind of the fetish scene, you know, more on the dark, you know, dark side of uh, the normal lifestyle. So we kind of, parties like that. 
It's 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 vampires have better sex. <laughs> we have no holds bar, man. We have we have no limits. That's what that's what living is about, having no limits as long as you're not hurting anyone or yourself. Live on. You know, and who are we to judge each other? Come on, man. I mean, let's get real. We only live once. I don't care who says what. We only live once. So, you know, we live we live to a fullest as long as we're safe and classy about our our ways we we yeah we do our thing you know i mean i live my life as i'm my god i'm my devil whether i choose to do good or evil that's my responsibility you know so who is anybody who why would i stop and listen to what anyone else has to say if it's negative i just keep walking it's i don't see you really i mean when i walk down the street the only people i see are those who are walking with me or friends that i know other, other, they just don't exist. They're not there. You know, I don't see them. I kind of tune everybody out. So it really doesn't, I mean, you get, you get reactions. I mean, you know, people, people gonna be people. Ignorances are gonna be everywhere. But you just ignore it, man. Live on, man. You're gonna waste too much time on that. It's time that you could be doing something else more productive. <laughs>